it's raining so this is my first gopro ever so i'm pretty noob with it, it seems pretty simple for filming oh yeah coming up on seven o'clock i don't think the sun's gonna come out that was kind of my goal to get some cool footage in the rain make it all epic but we'll just go for it man we'll see what happens i have my harry potter gloves on too keep me warm <laughs> I don't think anyone else is even considering doing 40 push-ups in the rain right now. Gotta warm up. Feels good out. I see two people walking. That's good. Other people getting it in the world right now. I don't think I'll need a jacket. I'm already getting all toasty. Alright. So GoPro cam. Hell yeah. As you can see, we're at the park. There ain't nobody here, man. Our goal, we're gonna go up that mountain and come all the way down that mountain, regroup back here. This is my car too, it's hanging in there. I've definitely had shitty cars in my life, but this one's finally stepping up to the plate. So let's get it. Feels great, man. Something about it, I'm very inspired by people like David Goggins who just gets out there when people are sleeping. We just wake up early and I have such a lust for life now, you know? I've been through so much that it just feels great to totally switch 180 and change everything. I would have never been doing it. I would have been so hungover, dude. Especially on a Sunday, because I used to go out all the time Saturday night. This is incredible, dude, going through the rain. And I don't even think I'll get sick from this because I'm so incredibly healthy right now and confident about that. So stoked to get up there. You know what? I want to check something out before we go on this run. I wanted to come check out this memorial over here. It's for the kids who lost their lives to drunk drivers and they made a really nice spot for it in the park over here and coming from a life of alcoholism you know it's very important to me to keep this in mind to never go back to that life again i was never a part of any drinking and driving tragedies but it can happen to anyone spot's very sad man all these ages it's about when i started drinking and you know it's just youth and it's it's wild trying to figure yourself out and you do stupid things to impress people and there's a lot of negatives with alcohol and that's why i feel incredible to be out here on the other side from it all it's very nice coming here um just makes you feel grateful yet very sad you know because alcoholism and tragedies like that aren't going anywhere unfortunately but there's something you can do about it bettering yourself every day and looking out for one another in order to be the best person you can you got to get stronger man got to be the strongest you can so that's why we're going to start running right now let's go so it begins i'm feeling great right now man can't wait to see that view up here Houses, everyone's asleep. We're getting it, man. Better than ourselves. Let's do this shit. One thing about these GoPros, battery goes down quick. I was at 100, it's at 83 now. I have two backups, so it's all good. View's getting better. Man, I had it easy as a kid. Some people had it rough, you know? Who am I to complain about my life is the way I think now. I just think so deep these days. You know, that's the importance of these walks and these moments to yourself. I just focus 100% of my energy on, on me at the current moment. And when I'm done with this run, I'll know what I have to do and I'll know exactly where I stand at this moment in my life. So that's the importance of getting up and getting after it a bit, you know? just preaching a little bit but let's get back to it i'm 
such a Lord of the Rings fan. Looks like the Misty Mountains, the Path to Mount Doom shit, you know? I'm a nerd. Check this shit out. So I could be a bitch and head back that way, or I could take the adventurous route. So I think I'm gonna do this. I don't know who would attempt this on a mountain bike, but that's nuts, dude. But we're just gonna kinda bear grills this shit. This is why leg day is important. I gotta step it up. I got chicken legs, fool. This shit is slippery though, so that's why I'm taking my time a little bit. I ain't trying to eat shit down this mountain. We made it. Successful morning light jog. I feel great, dude. I feel like I know exactly what I need to do at this point in my life, like I said. It's important to clear your mind like that. Just take a break from everyone else. If you're spending so much time with someone else, you're focusing all your energy onto their problems. So it's good to have that alone time with yourself. Analyze what you gotta do, then execute it, man. And that's just coming from me. I'm just a normal dude. So that was a fun run, man. I think um, the overall message of this video isn't to show off and like look at me kind of thing. I think it's more, if you're stuck in a hard time, I think it's important to, you know, one, get as sober as possible. You like knock the shit off that is holding you back and making you lazy from doing the activities you wanna do. And I think it's important to spend time alone, man. Spend time alone and figure out what you gotta do makes a huge difference when you're by yourself compared to running in a group or cycling in a group or whatever it is. You really get stuck in your own head and maybe even turn off the music, you know, just kind of focus in on your thoughts and tell your, tell your mind what to do, you know. It's really important because when you finish your run, finish your activity, you'll know what you have to do in life. And I'm still figuring it out, but these are baby steps into my recovery and my journey and my story. So if I could preach a little bit, I will. But overall, it's very, very important. I also wanted to test my GoPro, hung in there, even during the light drizzle. So, all right, on that note, have a great Sunday, y'all. And I'm rooting for y'all. Go get it. Yeah.